Hey up everybody, I'm on part 5 of my riding car, riding truck, riding trolley, whatever you want to call it. So if you've not seen parts 1, 2, 3 and 4, take a look back at them and you can see where I made the frame, the suspension and in the last part I made all the braking components. So in this part then I'm going to assemble all those braking components and show you exactly where they fit on riding car and how they work. So uh, let's crack on with that then. I'll start up front the pivot rods for the brake hangers in. The bracket that's on the suspension I've got an M8 hole tapped in there I didn't do that when I made the suspension because I wasn't sure what thread I was using. So they're, they're going to screw in and because I, there's a quite a bit of thread spare that enables you to adjust them to get them central into the and then when you've got them in position you just put a nut on to, to lock that stud in position so there's going to be one of them in each corner then you can put the brake blocks or the brake shoes onto the hangers uh, you want to make sure that that radius is on the inside where the flanges are and what I've done, I've marked mine up so that I don't get them all mixed up. I'm using 4BA screws right all the way through. If you've not got BA, you just have to use an equivalent size metric. Put, lo put locking nuts on these. But they don't want to be, you don't want to make everything tight because everything's got to be able to, to move and be free. Uh, that cut out there that I was telling you about earlier, that's to clear this pivot bar for the suspension. So you can thread that through now and I put it onto the um, hanger pivot rod. And then that's just going to fasten up with a 4BA screw. Once you've got that fastened, that should still be able to move. And then the centre of the brake shoe wants to be in the centre of the wheel, which can be adjusted with this thread on this. And once that's in the centre, you can lock it up on the locking nut. So there's four of those now to put on, pivot for the brake lever. So when that's threaded into this side with the nut on the other side and a washer you thread your, your actuating lever boss on that's located with a split pin another nut on the other side and a washer and then this boss goes on that we're telling you about for the brake lever so that will screw on and once you know all your positions when your brakes are fitted then you can drill your hole for your lever. Right, I've turned it over now and I'm going to put the equalising bar on. Now we need the clevis fit into the bar. Then it wants a clevis putting on the uh, on the actuating lever boss. Right, so that's everything fitted now, except for the the pull rods or the tie bars. Uh, you've got to determine all this once it's all been set up and adjusted properly to get your length so one's going to fit and obviously you're going to have a locking nut on one end on, well on each end to lock it off once you've got it set so 
So that's going to thread into one of the clevises. Then I'll determine what length I need. And get a measurement there later on. That's going to go into the front. And then the, the rear one's a bit longer. And that's going to be then cut off to go into that one. The only thing I've not covered then is the springs. There's one on each one in each corner that's fastened to the screw on the equalising bar. So you'll have one in each corner and then you've got to find somewhere to attach the other end on the front plate and the rear plate just to keep that pulled off keep the brake blocks pulled off the wheels when it's not in use That's it, jobs are good. Uh, what I've done then, I've cut these tie bars. Uh, I've, it's a bit of trial and error that. You just have to get it so that you, you just want to be over centre on the uh, actuating arm. You don't want to be dead level. Just over centre. Then once you've got all your, your tie bars threaded, you can adjust them till your brake shoes are just... just catching uh, and then uh, once all that's set you can then drill this boss for the lever so that you drill it in an appropriate position so, you, so it's at the front that's the braking system complete now so I'll move over to rest it riding car in next video. Uh, so I'll sign off for now then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.